I hear I Abe Lucas is going to be joining the faculty this summer. Really? That should put some Viagra into the philosophy department. <laughs> Professor Lucas, welcome to Braylon. Thank you. It's so good to have you here. Your paper was quite good. Am I blushing right now? He's very radical, very original. You either love him or hate him, really. When I heard you were coming here, we had fantasies that we'd meet something special in the I haven't been able to perform in nearly a year. I can't write. I can't breathe. I couldn't remember the reason for living. And when I did, it wasn't convincing. Word around is your philosophy professor's got a bit of an alcohol problem. Oh, boy, that's just one of his problems. I just hope you're not starting to care for him too much in the wrong way. You suffer from despair. How comforting that would be. Are you aware of what's going on in this too? It was at this moment that my life came together. There was no question there was something lighter about Abe. Good morning. You're full of energy this morning. Yeah. Yeah. His spirit seemed up, he seemed more focused, and yet for some reason, it bothered me. Okay, hey, something wrong? My thoughts were very mixed up and troubled. The dizziness and anxiety had disappeared. I was happy and enjoying the joy of living. What happened to the philosophy, Professor? Christ, you were like a caveman. I heard that you had a theory about Abe. You promise you won't tell? You have my word. Life's ironic, isn't it? One day a person has a morass of complicated, unsolvable problems. What the hell are you doing, Abe? <gasps> And then in the batting of an eye, the dark clouds part. She can enjoy a decent life again. It's just astounding. I'm Abe Lucas. I've had many experiences and now a unique one. This was the meaningful act I was searching for. 